If your employer asked you, would you get a microchip implanted into your hand? The first UK companies are looking at doing just that, using microchips permanently inserted under the skin to allow access to buildings instead of traditional key cards. It's a new but at the moment unregulated technology. Sasha Twining from Inside Out in the south of England reports. At an industrial estate near Southampton is the human implant company Biotech. Its director, Stephen Norvum, claims they've implanted around 150 microchips already. And demand is still growing. More and more people want this technology, and it probably will be your passport, your credit card, your keys, in a chip, in your hand, commonplace for everyone. That's the chip. One of the first companies in the UK offering microchips to staff is the 90-year-old local newspaper, the Limington Times. Owner Eddie Curry is going all bionic man, but reception in his office has been mixed. What are the sort of concerns that you're hearing? I think maybe Big Brother or having something medical done to them. Um, I think some people are worried that we'll know where they are, but there's no, they're entirely passive, there's no GPS in them. So far, Eddie's had six people say they're up for the implant. Very interesting concept. I think I'd like to let a few people try it out first before, it, before they put one in me. It just seems a bit pointless when I can have one on my keys. <laughs> you really think it's worth it for the ease of it? I think so, yes, or I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Well, here it seems that not everyone is quite so keen, but in the United States it is starting to catch on. And in Sweden, if you have an implant, you can even use it to pay for your train ticket. You know what? I'm quite liking the idea. I'm booked in with Dr Jeff Watson to have my implant. But we aren't in a hospital. The procedure is being done at biotech's offices. And that's the strange thing about this technology. It's currently unregulated you could have it done in a tattoo parlour or piercing salon. So other people could quite simply not necessarily do it themselves, although actually I guess that they might do that mm, people anyway. Do. People do. Yeah. People buy our kits and uh, insert them themselves or find somebody who's willing to. But I think it's important that they're inserted under medical conditions. So there will be a bit of okay. a buzz from the local anaesthetic and then once that's in you won't feel nothing other than some pressure. Okay. You've now joined the bionic generation. <laughs> so was that it? I didn't feel that at all. Thank you. Magic. Sasha Twining, BBC News. And you can see more on that story on Inside Out tonight on BBC One in the south of England. That's at 7.30pm and everywhere else on the BBC iPlayer.